everyone, it's Alice and I am here today with Fairy Loot Adult January Unboxing. So this is the first book of the new year and I'm looking forward to seeing how it goes. Um, Fairy Loot Adult is coming up to being a year old so I'm thinking that they're probably going to start pulling the stops out a little bit more um, because their first few were a little bit basic but I'm still excited. I've figured out what book they're doing next month and it's one that I'm quite excited about. I'm hoping that they're going to do a lot of customizations on it but I can't remember what this is if I figured it out at all. So we're both going to be going in blind on this. Um, also if you stick around at the end of the video I am going to be showing off the Daughter of the Pirate King set um, because my set arrived last week and I wasn't going to do an unboxing and then when I opened the box it was just sort of the Siren Queen, <laughs> which was unusual. Like I wasn't expecting a whole book to be missing. I was like, oh, and I've got to have the second one out of the two, so it's not even really readable. Um, but they have sent through a replacement package today, which impeccable customer services. They responded yesterday saying, we're really sorry about this. We're gonna send you through a replacement. It might take 30 to 45 days and it's here today. So thank you Fairy Loot for dealing with the problem so quickly. Um, but I'm gonna open it on camera this time just because if it's another copy of Daughter of the Siren Queen, I don't want, I don't want to think that I'm going mad. <laughs> I want there to be evidence of that. So <laughs> we'll see how it goes. But we'll do this one first and hopefully this will be plain sailing, nice and smooth and easy. So January adult book. Let's go. Slice. And we've got the spoiler card that is Sinister Secrets. Which, I mean, even the spoiler card's beautiful, so I hope the book's good. But also, the spoiler card's very dark. Are we looking at back spray pages again? That's a likelihood. Let us see. That is black sprayed pages. Oh, no, it's not. Oh! Oh, there's, like, a lady. There's a lady with a flower on her head on the pages. Oh, wow. Okay. These are very intricate and detailed. They're like, she's got flowers on her head and a beautiful blue dress. This is The Last Tale of the Flower Bride by Roshani Chokshki, who, if I'm right, is the author of the Gilded Wolves series. So this must be her first adult novel. Inside every story is a secret. Inside every marriage is a lie. Colour me intrigued. Also, this is very skinny and much skinnier than I was expecting. Um but that's not necessarily a bad thing. We have a signed book plate from Roshani. We have end papers with beautiful stained glass phoenixes and half of a lady's face. Ooh, we've got the stained glass phoenixes. Peacocks. Peacocks is the word I was looking for. We've got the stained glass peacocks on the hardcover case there in the foiling. And then at the back, we've got, ooh, like the lady looking quite sad and some frozen dead trees behind her in the stained glass. That sounds very menacing. Um, and I've also only just realised that all the flowers on the front cover actually have that lady on them. To start with, I thought it was just flowers, but you can see the lady's face in the background. So that's a bit of an optical illusion when you look at it at first glance. I like that. So we'll read out the blurb and see what this is about. Once upon a time, a man who believed in fairy tales married a beautiful, mysterious woman named Indigo Maxwell Castanada. He was a scholar of myths. She was heiress to a fortune. They exchanged gifts and stories and believed they would live happily ever after. And in exchange for her love, Indigo extracted a promise that her bridegroom would never pry into her past. But when Indigo learns that her estranged aunt is dying and the couple is forced to return to her childhood home the house of dreams, the bridegroom soon finds himself unable to resist. For within the crumbling manor's extravagant rooms and musty halls there lurks the shadow of another girl, Azure, Indigo's dearest childhood friend, who disappeared without a trace. As the house slowly reveals his wife's secrets, the bridegroom will be forced to choose between reality and fantasy, even if doing so threatens to destroy their marriage or their lives. Combining the lush, haunting atmosphere of Mexican Gothic with the dreamy enchantment of the invisible life of Addie LaRue, The Last Tale of the Flower Bride is a spellbinding and darkly romantic page-turner about love and lies, secrets and betrayal, and the stories we tell ourselves to survive. That sounds very interesting. Um, I recently read 
Spells for Lost Things by Jenna Evans Welch and that's a similar thing and like the mum's sister dies and that is how the main character finds out that she has an aunt like she doesn't know that her mum has a sister until they're like oh yeah no she's dead and we've got to go and sort out the house that she's left us behind um and then when she goes back to Salem she discovers a lot of things about her mum that she'd been keeping secret like her entire life that she'd been keeping secret from her dad but like her dad has no idea like they've been divorced for years but he knew none of it so that is definitely a concept that intrigues me especially because I've seen it work quite well in another book fairly recently um so I'm glad that they've picked this one it's definitely it sounds quite different for a fairy loop pick so I'm wondering if there's going to be more supernatural elements kind of tangled within it but I'm definitely interested in it so the foil on the hardcover and the artwork on the end papers are by Sarah Mirza Art Ooh, very good start to the year especially those edges I was right that they're going to start pulling it out of the bag because dang and also like I really love the little touch of foiling on the front cover like that's really nice so I'm definitely impressed by this month's fairy new adult and I hope that you are too please let me know how you think that ranks compared to other fairy new adults that they've done in the past um and let me know if that's a book that you're going to be picking up and now it's time for the moment of truth is this my address on show on the internet no it's not why would i do that is this daughter of the pirate queen i'm gonna find out daughter of the pirate king we don't want the queen <laughs> is this daughter of the pirate king yes <laughs> oh that's good that's lucky <laughs> Oh, I was about to say, I can't have bad luck with this set twice, can I? So, I will also quickly show you this. I can't tell you any of the artist details because um, in special editions, books only, things that they've been sending out recently, they haven't been putting any of the artist details. But I'll see if Sean can get it to put it up on the screen so that you can see it all. But this is Daughter of the Pirate King by Trisha Levenseller. This includes the exclusive bonus content Rydens chapter. And we've got half a boat. Which is the other reason I was a bit peeved that the first one was missing because like I just had half a boat and now I've got a full boat. So this has beautiful end papers. It has foiling under the dust jacket. It has the inability for me to close the dust jacket back over the top of it because I'm a failure. It has different end papers at the end. Possibly the titular Pirate King. Titular? I never know how to say that. Um, and then we also have the signed tipping page there. And then I'll also show you my copy of Daughter of the Siren Queen, which arrived on time. So we've got, when you line them up together, you get the whole boat i can kind of see what people mean because i've seen a lot of complaints about the fact that these don't line up i'm not complaining about the fact that it doesn't line up but i'll see if we can get it on the close-up the printing is remarkably different on both you can kind of see it on the camera because i can kind of see it this one is a lot lighter and crisper than this one this one's very dark and gloomy and kind of faded um almost blurred this one's very very crisp so it doesn't look like two halves of the same boat but it lines up perfectly it's still beautiful so i'm just happy to have them both to be honest <laughs> um and then daughter of the siren queen comes with an exclusive bonus q a with the author it has end papers it has foiling it has the sign tipping page which i really just realized i didn't actually check was in there because i was so surprised by the lack of book one and it has another end paper page there so i will just quickly read out the blurb of the first one in case you don't know anything about this series and then i'll let you go 17 year old losa daughter of the feared pirate king is sent on a mission to retrieve an ancient hidden map the key to a legendary treasure trove the catch she must conceal her considerable combat skills and allow herself to be captured by her enemies, giving her the perfect opportunity to search their ship. 
More than a match for the ruthless pirate crew, Elosa has only one thing standing between her and the map. Her captor, the unexpectedly clever and unfairly attractive first mate Raiden. But luckily Elosa has a few tricks up her sleeve and no lone pirate can stop the daughter of the pirate king. It sounds like a very fun story. I think I'm going to enjoy it. I have the first one from Outcrate and then I never read it because I wanted to wait until I got the sequel and I only have the sequel now. So we'll see how it goes. <laughs> so once again, thank you Fairy Loop for the great customer service and I hope that you enjoyed this video. I'm Alice. This is the Bumbling Blogger. If you like this, please give it a like and if you'd like to subscribe, we'd be super, super grateful. We will be back in a couple of days with another video and we will hopefully see you then. Bye. That went well. <laughs> hey everyone, it's Alice and why am I waving my hand around like this? Let's stop that.